This is the first of the three conceptual energy analysis challenges and the challenge here is to find out for the day of the winter solstice which of the three shades there's a simple curved and an angled blade which of those three shades leaves me with most energy on the day of the winter solstice on the surface that's the sloping surface on the conceptual house now to, to help with that what you've got is you've got uh, settings with views where you can preview the conditions there to say the summer solstice or the winter solstice for any one of the 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 alternatives that are presented right so I could be looking at the winter solstice with the curve the angle blade or the simple shade but I want to analyze that surface and say which one of the shades leaves me with most energy on that surface there are a couple of perspective views as well so you can look at them in there I want to find out how much solar radiation or insulation I'm getting on the surface here uh, and I need first of all to switch to the uh, design option that lets me access the geometry that's part of the uh, shade simple. When I've gotten to that point I can go to the analysis and the uh, solar radiation and I want to make sure that this is set up for uh, the single day winter solstice study so I can switch this to set the analysis for winter solstice um, I can then go and look at my report my report is whichever one I want to choose here I'm going to use the I'll use the markers with text doesn't really matter I'm going to get cumulative values and then go and select the actual surface so if I click on here and then click again I should get my legend with the values shown on here and I can increase the accuracy by sliding that to the right it just gives me more samples on that area but I'm getting a the highest value for a cell is 463 British thermal units per square foot um, so for the whole surface if I want to say export I'll put this on the desktop and I'll call it uh, shade simple I should be able to switch to the curve panels Let me actually let me just go back here I'm going to go to the shade simple um, I'm going to make sure I delete this and uh, I'm unselecting that surface then I'm switching to oops, it's unselected then I'm switching to curve panels selecting the surface here Okay, and I'm going to say export curve panels um, just to make sure I kind of keep this clean I'm deleting the study and I'm unselecting that surface And then I'm going to angle blade, selecting the surface there, <coughs> and exporting angled blade.
Okay, so I'll bring those into a spreadsheet so I can total them and see what I, what the values are and which of those three options uh, gives me most energy on the south surface. So here's the spreadsheet created in the way that you saw in an earlier movie and you can see that the shade simple has the highest total for the energy on the surface that was analysed um, followed by the curved panels and the angled blade. Uh, but just think of the potential here to do things like change the angle of the blade and run an analysis and get real data about what the consequences are. Uh, there, are, there are tools that let you measure insulation on the surface, but um, this is letting you measure insulation values on a surface and taking account of shading objects.